some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video takes us to a public library in Cuyahoga County, Ohio, where a frauditor believes that the rules don't apply to him, only to the staff of the library. He ends up being asked to leave and trespass. Then the police get involved, and everybody explains to him the concept of limited public forms, but he still doesn't get it. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, I'm sorry, my camera stopped recording. Um, okay, just that's, so you know that. That's policy, though. That doesn't apply to the public. That's your policy? We are a limited public forum, so we are allowed. As a public library, we're a limited public forum. We're allowed to make our own rules about these sorts of things. So, um, again... It is very refreshing to hear somebody use the public forum doctrine in the way it was meant to be used to limit issues like this, where matters of privacy can be a concern. But of course, the frauditor is not exactly educated in the uh, public forum doctrine. However, he is educated in the frauditor script, which he will soon demonstrate. But what I'm saying is the rules don't apply to... There's no privacy in public. Um, well, sir, actually, I would have to disagree with you on that, okay? So, our, our policy... And you could take it up with the people who write the policies, but... Okay. Okay? Uh-huh. But policy isn't law. I don't... But, but, but policy isn't law. Well, policy can get you kicked out of anywhere if you don't follow their policy in any type of building, public or private. And I know it's hard to see, but right here on this paper, it says there is no video recording. And according to their own website, it is the exact same thing. No recording of any kind. But, of course, this idiot is not going to figure that out or anything out, for that matter, beyond the frauditor script, so he's going to get kicked out. You're saying, sir, but the law is that we are a limited public forum and we are allowed to create our own policies around... Um, How exactly do you limit a public forum, though? What are you limiting? The freedom of the press? It's, no, it's, an, it's a legal term called a limited public forum, and that's what a library is considered. So we are allowed okay, to... So I know there's, Sir, like, you can't, uh, like, disrupt, right? Be loud. Basically, that's... yes, exactly. So that's, like, one of the rules that we have in the library. Mm -hmm. That even though it's a public space, you can't do anything you want in right. the library, right? Mm -hmm. And so we are allowed to make our own rules about making sure that everybody in the library feels comfortable and welcome coming here. And one of the, those rules to make sure we have a pleasant experience for everyone is that people don't feel like they're being filmed when they're here. Okay. okay. Uh, so what I'm saying is that you uh, like policy can't violate the Constitution so the First Amendment says that we have freedom of the press so when I come in someplace where everybody else is allowed in public I'm allowed to film here so if the police come here like I said, this moron has been following the frauditor script to the letter he does not understand what he is talking about listen up you bozo Freedom of the press does not mean the press has the ability to go anywhere, any place they want to, without restrictions. There are still restrictions at certain times and places. Freedom of the press just means you have the freedom to publish your story without interference from the government. But of course, you don't know that because you have been drinking too much of the uh, frauditard Kool-Aid as well as eating all the lead paint chips that you can to the point where your brain has started to melt, hasn't it? They're, uh, they're, they, they enforce law, right? You yeah, agree with that? So they don't enforce policy. I understand that I didn't say anything about the police. That's what I'm saying, though. But to make me leave, you probably might think about calling the police. I'm not thinking about calling police at all. I just came out here. And to I'm saying that's give you just a policy a... and to say that that is our policy. And, and I'm saying I don't have to follow that policy. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a special little snowflake here who believes that the uh, rules and laws and regulations don't apply to him and he doesn't fall, have to follow any of them. Okay, I hope you enjoy your time in the uh, prison system, because if that is your attitude, then yeah, I'm sure Bubba and the boys would welcome you into their club. Because I don't work for the library. No, 
I'm in happened. public. But you do have to follow the policies. No, I don't. You have to follow the policy. If there's a mask mandate, I don't have to wear a mask. You have to wear a mask. And no, we did ask people that they had to wear a mask when they nope, were nope, here. Nope, nope, nope. The, Sir, the First I, Amendment says you have the freedom to assemble. You. you have the freedom to assemble. It doesn't say anything about being six feet apart or wearing a mask. You damn asshat. You've never read the Constitution at all, have you? Because if you would have read it, you would know that it doesn't cover every situation. Because that's why the Tenth Amendment was created for situations that might arise so individual states can, well, adapt to new situations. By like creating temporary mask mandates during the pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a living example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Here you go. Take in all this wonderful stupidity because there is going to be a lot more to come. I'm going to debate with you about these things, okay, sir? What was your name? I would like you to stop filming. Don't film me right now. What was your You're name? You're violating our policy. I'll ask you to leave. Are you asking me to leave? I'm asking you to leave. You're asking me to leave from public? No. All right, I will ask you to leave then. And if you will not leave, I will call the police. Understood? I've asked you nicely to... Abide by our policy. I'm just trying to. I was actually trying to do a video here for, for like somebody older who could come and print. A, come and print. If you want to film how the printers work, how the computers work, etc., like I told you before, that's okay. We prohibit filming customers and we prohibit filming staff. And I'm saying that's not lawful. I understand what you're saying. Sir. Um. A lot of people will push this to the point and they'll make you call the police so they can get it on video and put it on YouTube. You mm -hmm. know. I mean, that's your whole intention anyway. Don't beat around the bush about it. Tell her the honest truth of what you're doing. You're an idiotic fraud tar. That's what you are. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to uh, use my other First Amendment right, which is the redress of grievances. So I have a grievance with you mm -hmm. that you're trying to enforce your policy on me and that you're violating my First Amendment right to freedom of the press. Are you uh, We all have uh, the right to freedom of the press. Here? Yeah, you failed the This was a this was a first amendment audit. I understand. And you have failed the first amendment audit. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Oh, I'm sure she's so heartbroken that she didn't pass your little test, pass the First Amendment audit. Like, that's going to be life devastating for her. It's going to, she's not going to be able to move on with the rest of her life, knowing that she failed your stupid little test, you moron. I mean, get a damn life. And for that matter, get a damn job, too. And stop annoying somebody who actually has a job, whose life and job will not even be affected by this kind of thing. Because your opinion means very little in this situation. Very little to nothing at all. Please leave now. You're violating okay. our policy. Okay. Can I have your name? Uh, you might want to. Did you log into the computer? You might want to yeah. log out. Can I have your name? I'm not going to give you my name because you're... Well, gee, uh, how do you know what's in their policy considering that you have not even taken the time to properly read the Constitution? I mean, at this point, all I'm seeing you do is uh, regurgitate the uh, Fraudatar script, and it ended up with you getting kicked out of the library. So, yeah, not so great all around. Isn't it your policy? You want me to follow the policy, but you're not going to follow your policy to tell people your name? I'm leaving. Can I get a, uh, do you have a public records request? Or how do I get? Um, I'm not sure I would ask over the information just about that. Okay. 
Well, that's the end of that particular video right there. But outside, he waits for the cops to show up. And this is the interaction that he had with them. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Trying to stay dry. Otherwise, I'm all good. What's up? What's up? Can I have your name and badge number? Yeah, Patrolman AF Team Badge 60. Okay. Uh, I What's the issue? Uh, well, I went in here to, uh, to film a video about, like, if somebody older wanted to print documents, how they could do it at the library. So I am filming. Okay. Um, she let me film it first, and then she came to the computer. Do me a favor, just please keep your hands out of your pockets. Okay, can you keep your hand out of your pocket? No. Okay. But Are just, you, you're welcome to put them back in. I just... Am I being detained? Yes, for the time being. I'm being detained for what yes. crime? Well, uh, trespassing for not leaving the premises she didn't upon catch. request. She that's what we're assuming right now. At least that's how our call came out. No, so this she, other officer is going to go inside and verify that. And get her side of the story. Yeah, and so then we know what's decide, going on. We'll she it just out. asked me to leave, by the way. She asked. She didn't okay. tell me. Well, and then I did leave. A request is a request. I tried yeah. to get a complaint form before I left or a public records request. Okay. And then I left. Um, so... Yeah. Suspect me of trespassing on public property. I have to commit a crime to, for it to be trespassing. Well, if you're asked to leave and then you refuse to do so. That's private property. The public property, you have to actually commit a crime. To be okay, trespassed for public, you got to commit a crime. Regardless, if management at this property, which, yes, it's the library. Yeah, well, it's public library. State of yes. Ohio, Calgary. Regardless. Calgary. They, are, they have the authority to dictate if a patron must leave the property, okay? They could have me trespass for breaking the law. Okay, and, but and you're welcome to But not their policy. Their policy mm -hmm. is not law. So you're, you're not here to enforce policy. You're mm -hmm. here to enforce the law. Mm -hmm. So their policy says I can't film, but the First Amendment says I can. Okay, I understand that. I'm in public. Now, they say they have a limited form, which I'm going to have to look into that. So I thought to myself, I better go outside. I don't know what their rules are. You know, I'm not as far as filming, if they have that on paper somewhere or they not. Do. She showed it to me. She showed it. So I they have a rule. They I have a rule. Kept the copy of it. I don't okay, know. if you want a copy, we get you a copy, man. I okay, don't if I could just have care. that paper before I leave. But uh, uh, I didn't we'll see. It. If they got an extra one and they're okay printing one off for you or whatever, we'll give you one. I don't care. In the interest of time, I'm going to skip to the more relevant parts because most of this uh, part of the video is just. Uh, the two of them having a conversation about varying topics. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead to the next segment where the officer, well, the other officer comes in with the paper that they're talking about that was shown earlier in the video as well. Many, many minutes later. Yeah, she said that he was in there filming and uh, she asked him to. Did you give me the policy? It's a, uh, can I have that? Yeah, you okay. can. I'm just showing him one more. Okay, so thank you. Under the code of conduct. <clears throat> um, Second. And I'm going to take this up with their with their management. Photography yeah, and or video that's recording of staff or customers without their permission. Then I hope to teach you guys that we are allowed to be in there and film. It's just their policy. It's not law. So when you come here, you can't enforce policy. You can only enforce law. Well, but here's here's where the policy becomes law. So when the like person with the authority right. of that premises is attempting to enforce their policy and somebody on that property is refusing to abide by it, right. then it becomes a trespassing and then that's where the see law that. aspect comes in. You, you yeah. see, right? So I, it's just yeah. like a manager in chief says, hey, I don't want this person here. He's doing X, Y, and B. What they're doing is not an arrestable offense, but if that management wants him gone, right. then we have the authority, okay? So what I'm saying is that you're right if I'm at Walmart or I'm at Sheets, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is owned by the state of Ohio. This is public, so it's subject to the First Amendment. I can walk in there, the public can walk in there, therefore I can film. And that's just the way it is. Okay. Well, so you guys are going to have to learn that policy. Mm -hmm. when people, most cities by now, Cleveland, you see, I'm the first one here. Mm -hmm. I live here, and uh, when I looked up Cleveland First Amendment audits, there's none. There's one guy who was at the airport, but the whole city's open to audit. And in the other cities, they already know, they wouldn't even come out. Like, the, if the library calls, they're like, if he's filming, he's fine. If that's all he's well, here's a, here's, a, here's a question for you. Can public property have hours of operation? Yes. No, and if somebody is on that public property outside of those hours of operation, those hours of operation aren't a law. They're just a policy that that 
property, whether it's a public park or a library, so if somebody's on that property outside of those hours of operation, correct, mm -hmm. that would that would be illegal? Trespassing? No. No, so you so you don't you don't so think you that that's be, you can't be arrested if you enter a park beyond hours. Well, maybe that. If oh, now if hours, you go inside the library outside of business but hours, but it would have to say like no trespassing after such and such hours. If the building's closed, if it just says hours of operation and you go inside outside of hours of operation, I'm, is that not trespassing? Out, well, outside of hours in the building, yeah. But I'm saying yeah. not outside the building. Outside the building, no, that's a different story. If you're outside of the building, I, I don't care, but. I'm, that's just an example of right, right. a policy, policy that they have that's not a law in and of itself, but could obviously turn into us having to enforce a law. Right. So just like the no video recording policy, so it's the exact same thing. She doesn't have the authority to trespass me. I'm in public. Mm -hmm. I have to break a law. It's not private property where you can just trespass them because you don't like them. Yeah. I, 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 you may have an argument there, but unfortunately, as far as she understands her authority and as far as we understand right, ours, I'll take that up with we, would, management. we would disagree. Yeah, you can take it up with management yeah. or our chief of police, either of or those as far as... the council or the mayor. Uh, can I have your name and badge number? Well, I am just going to end the video right here because you know what? He's doing all sorts of mental gymnastics to justify his arguments. While the police are doing a fairly decent job of holding their own against his stupid arguments, it's just, well, you can't help this guy out. He's just not all there. But nonetheless, he never goes back inside the library. So deep down, he probably realized he was in the wrong. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.